You should have Bert Kreischer on your podcast. I, I, I tried. I got DMs from Bert. Bert's like, oh, man, I can't do it this time around, but next time I'm in New York, I'll do your podcast. So, you know I'm a fan. And then uh, and then he has two more visits to New York with no uh, no room for the Opster. I don't know what to tell you. That doesn't mean I have a problem with Bert Kreischer, so relax. Just like the other day, I, I said something about Ron Bennington because he didn't mention my podcast as he was mentioning it, and I, w- I was... I was bummed that he didn't mention my podcast by name because Lord knows I could use all the promotion I could get. I called it a rookie move, and then people just ran with that and thought I had a massive fucking problem with Ron Bennington. And then I tried to explain I don't have a problem with Ron Bennington, but I was a little bummed because I could use the use the plugs anywhere I could get them. And that didn't calm everyone down. They're still thinking there's like some huge problem with Ron Bennington. There's none. Absolutely none. Creamy Butters, you bitch. What's up? Yeah, what are you going to do? I mean, the beauty is people are fighting back on my behalf these days, and I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate it. But I'm just waiting for my goddamn sandwich, and it's taking forever because I got things to do. And they're like, you get a free drink with your sandwich, so I picked the, uh, the mango mint. It was either that or coconut water. And man, do I hate coconut water. No, I'm not surprised, bro. I'm not. People just have agendas and uh, they don't want to believe the truth. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I was a little, I, I was a little bummed out that Ron, Ron didn't mention my podcast, but it didn't mean I had a huge beef with the guy. Ronnie, uh, Ronnie's still good people. There you go. Uh, Bubba has a lawsuit against uh, Cowhead. I, I, okay. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, Theo on the pod. He was in town last week. I saw he was in town, so I DM'd him. He's like, oh, old man, I'm coming in Wednesday, and I got to leave first thing Thursday morning to go to Boston. He goes, but I'll, I promise I'll do your podcast in May, so... We'll see if that comes to pass. I love Theo Vaughn. All right. All right, guys. I I got to go check. So that was Opie complaining about not getting certain guests on his podcast and explaining he has no beef with Ron Bennington. First and foremost, Burt Kreischer isn't doing your podcast because he doesn't like you. <laughs> Like, real talk, Vert Kreischer, does it, let me ask you a question. If you were doing the Joe Rogan podcast in New York, do you think Vert Kreischer would make some time for you? Yes, he would. So, it's not that he's busy, it's that he doesn't like you. So, and then the Ron Bennington thing. Look, first and foremost, you are, there's no beef, you got to beef with Ron Bennington. Now, Here's another thing, though. Like, he didn't mention my podcast on his show. First of all, every single person who hears the Ron Bennington show on a daily basis knows Opie has a podcast. So, you don't need extra promotion or anything. It's not that serious, Opie. I get it. I get it, but still, give it up. Now, back to the guest thing. Westwood won. I would say has probably gotten Opie a couple of guests, right? Gary Busey, uh, Maury Povich, and then I bet you a lot of other ones have just been gotten by Opie, but I mean, what do you care about a Burt Kreischer or any of these guys? Remember, you famously said to Colin, oh, why would I have Colin Quinn on my podcast? I'm trying to do something new and different. And then later ask Colin Quinn to be on your podcast. <laughs> Besides the point, Opie, what are you doing, titties? What's going on here? Look, it doesn't even matter about the guest. The one that still pisses him off the most is Joe Rogan, by the way. He hit up Joe. He never hit up Joe Rogan when Joe Rose, Rogan wasn't in New York, but Opie found out Joe Rogan's in New York doing compound media. 
He texted Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan never got back to him, and then he made the infamous he didn't text me back video. So, um, look, I guess I get that podcasts are heavily um, guest driven. And I mean, at this point, I would argue that, you know, Husey, I bet Husey's had way more interesting guests than Opie has. So, <laughs> but a lot of it is. Um, See, uh, a big problem of what you're doing also, Opie, is your setup in general. Like, you're only set up for guests in person, meaning no one can just do a Skype with you. You would freaking explode at the amount of guests you can get if you just did, like, Skype. And it really wouldn't matter either because you do an audio-only podcast. So if you did a bunch of Skype interviews... You can put Bert Kreischer would probably do jump on and do a freaking twenty minute Skype interview with you. So that's another thing. Although I guess Opie could make the argument, and I guarantee you he considers himself. Well, Joe Rogan doesn't have to do Skype interviews. You ain't Rogan, but there's also tact to the way you got to do this, Opster, Mister Margera. There's tact. So like that's why Husey gets great guests. Because ain't no one going to Ireland to eat some Lucky Charms and chill with that red-headed mongoloid. <laughs> so, um, friggin' do Skype or something. Then you'll get, you still won't get probably that great a guest, but you'll get way more guests. But um, I just like the fact that Ovi is continuously having to explain like complaining, he's got a problem. Oh, Theo said he would do my want to do my podcast, and Bert Kreischer and Ron Bennington, and yeah, who cares? You got the Mad Cuban, right? Ain't that your boy? You see where you messed up, though. You had that infamous one with uh, what's stupid's name? You had that infamous one with uh, I guess he was at a restaurant and Bruce Willis was there. He's like, hey, Bruce Willis. And Bruce Willis, it was, it was probably where he was. I mean, he's like, just leave me alone. <laughs> like, you should have at least got that video. I don't know. But um, if you listen to the video, I love it when Opie says there's no beef and he has no problem. But he sounds extremely pissed off. So, like, you can tell there is a beef and there is a problem. So, it's, it's just Opie, another Opie contradiction. I would argue. But, I mean, Opie, just, uh... You, like I said, do the Skype thing. You'll get way more guests and bigger guests. Not everybody wants to travel to New York to go to a restaurant with you and do a podcast. Sorry. I know you quote-unquote got a studio. And look, hey, you got Bill Burr. You got uh, Mark Norman. That's another... I'll give you a little promotion. Another good OP podcast is the one with uh, Mark Norman. But, I mean, you just ain't that dude right now. Like, add visual to your thing or whatever it is you got to do. And then maybe you'll get better. Maybe they won't blow you off. But Burt Kreischer and them, bl- them blowing you off, they just hate you. <laughs> they just, Burt Kreischer just doesn't like you. Just like we found out Matt Iceman doesn't like you. Now, hopefully, ultimately, you might get the last laugh because, like, they'll blow off Opie and go on Kumia, not realizing a little over 2,000 people are seeing. So going on Kumia brings you zero exposure, and there's, I guess, quote-unquote, more of a chance you can get exposure at Opie, and eventually Kumia will be going bankrupt. So um, maybe you'll win in the long game, but a lot of people... Don't like you personally, Opie. And when they were kissing your ass before, when it was the Opie and Anthony show or Opie with Jim, that was just because of the platform. Hey, look, this isn't just you, by the way. If tomorrow Sirius XM fired Jim and Sam, nobody would be doing the Sam Roberts or Jim Norton podcast either. I mean, Jimmy would have to go to Compound or Riot cast. But do you think frigging the MMA guys... And all those other guys are going to do the Jim and Sam po- separate podcast without Sirius XM's backing them up. Do you think WWE will ever answer a Sam Roberts phone call 
if you didn't work for Sirius XM. So it's not just you. Don't get it twisted. There's a million guests Anthony can't get either. I mean, the running joke is how... I would make... Um, I would say you've had better guests than Anthony. How about that? I'd say um, Anthony's biggest guest <coughs> was uh, Neil, deGrasse Ty- Neil deGrasse Tyson. Now, the only reason why Neil deGrasse Tyson was Anthony a guest on Compound is A, he had no idea Anthony was fired for racism, and B, um, he had a studio in the same building, I think right next to him, or he like used the same studio as Anthony or something like that, I don't know. So he got, Anthony got him for a little crossover, but Anthony hasn't had a good guest in how long? Bam Margera just blew off, so it's not just you. It's the fact that people hate you, but also because you don't get that power structure behind you. Tell Westwood one to step up. Tits.